Thanks for checking back here at Busy Lady Life Channel. Today's recipe has a Mexican flair. I'm making some steak tacos and some cauliflower Mexican rice. Please stop by and check out this recipe and I hope you enjoy it. The things you're going to need for this recipe are some onions, frozen or fresh cauliflower or rice cauliflower that's frozen. I have some chipotle peppers and some adobo uh, mole sauce. I have some chopped chilies, some fajita mix. I have some green onions, some regular chopped white onions. I have another yellow onion, some carne picada, which is basically just shredded pot roast in a sense. I have some low carb tortillas, four carbs each tortilla. I'm gonna use some salt and pepper, some olive oil, and some various other different seasons. So here's the nutritional content for the tortillas. Nice option, can't go wrong with four, four carbs. I love Mexican food, it keeps me from um, having it when the carbs are so high, so fortunately it's not. And a trusty margarita, strawberry this time. So I've got a cast iron pan and a regular nonstick that I'm going to use, and I'm putting a little oil in both of them, olive oil. First thing I'm doing is sauteing my green peppers, um, some of the scallions, the green onions, and regular white onions, and I did it on both ends. I added some of the green chilies too, so I had one little small can, and I just divided it in half for both of these um, items. So now I have some canned tomato sauce. So you could use paste, doesn't matter. I mean, I, I, if you use paste, you usually put a little water in it and kind of um, liquefy it a little bit. But this is for the Mexican rice with the cauliflower rice. I'm not putting that tomato base into my um, meat mixture. I'm going to add a little, I use a vegeta, which is a vegetable, stock seasoning. You could use sasson. Um, you could use a little bit of um, chicken bouillon to your rice to give it a little bit more flavor. So as you can see, it's kind of a dry mixture right now. I'm going to add a little bit more liquid into it with the tomato sauce. Now I'm going to add the chipotle peppers. They're whole. I'm going to chop those little guys up. And I wanna put these, this same thing, one jar or one container or can or whatever, and I'm splitting this into two recipes. So I diced them up, and I didn't care if they had the seeds in there, I left them in there anyhow. And it's gonna flavor the meat, but it's also gonna really, really bring a nice flavor to your cauliflower rice. So just making sure all this gets well combined now you could season your meat beforehand if you wanted to, but that's your choice. So now I've dumped all of that frozen cauliflower rice into the sauteed vegetables, tomato paste, and the chipotle peppers. It's still not to the desired mm, consistency, consistency that I want, so I'm using that can and I just rinsed it out with like half of it with some water and same thing with the peppers, just to give a little bit of the rest of the flavoring from the container and then add a little liquid. It's only gonna just cook down in the rice anyhow as it cooks, so just as you would normal rice. So now I'm just kinda gonna let this sit and all marinate and get all those flavors in. Now it's time for the steak tacos. So I put all of that mixture on the side and now I'm going to attempt again with one hand um, to dump in the meat and cook that on the opposite side and start browning it and then once it's all browned I'll bring it all together and here it's there's the rice checking back on that it's looking really really good all that liquid starting to go away and the flavors are just starting to marinate. And now take a look at this meat. 
I added the fajita mix in here. I half a packet. I bought two packets. I didn't really even need it. I just wanted the, I was a little lazy and I didn't want to bring all the cumin out and the pepper and the chili pepper and everything. I figured I'd just use the packet, it's fine. Okay, so I'm still just making sure that gets all browned. And of course, as you see, it creates its own liquid, so that's fine. You've got to have that little bit to um, put in for the fajita mix. And if you don't have enough, if that meat is so lean, go ahead and do like maybe a fourth cup of water and add it in there. It's got to cook out anyhow. So now it's getting almost brown, it's still a little pink. Here's the rice, the steamy rice. Now overall, I think this meal took a total of a half an hour to make between both of these. I did very little preparation. I think the most I've had to do was I cut half of a yellow onion to add a little more onion flavor into here because I didn't have enough, a lot of chopped onion. And oh, and the chopped um, chipotle peppers. That would be the, the, the biggest part that I chopped and put a lot of preparation. Otherwise it was all just dumping in. So it's all cooked and all evenly. Here it is on that tortilla. The rice is plated there. Put a little scallions on it, put some cheese on it, put whatever you want to top it with. Some avocado, wrap that up. It had so much flavor. Pair it up with some salsa. And it goes great with the margarita. I hope you enjoy this recipe here and you try this out. And it's a nice low carb dish. Thanks again for stopping at Busy Lady Life channel. Mexican rice with cauliflower rice and steak tacos. Thanks for stopping by.